Hey guys, it's Compa Quickie Time with Economics and Comics. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and turn on all notifications. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Commerce. We got another Compa Quickie here. This is the Vision. Now I'm pretty sure that they're going to I'm filming this so early, the show could be out, the new WandaVision. But they're going to be using characters in this book. If not, and we're just watching the show already, I could be wrong. But this is kind of like the family of visions. Now, this is vision number one. This is an ex a variant cover, one of the more expensive variant covers. So I'm going to be real careful with it. But it's a very interesting read. Um... It talks about how Vision's like um, a synthetic type of thing, born from Ultron or whatever. But it starts off in the neighborhood and describing their neighborhood, the Vision's neighborhood where they live in Virginia, like kind of by D.C., where everyone in the neighborhood kind of works for the government or something else. And uh, there's a couple, George and Norma. Norma's making uh, George go to the house to give their new neighbors <laughs> visions cookies and George is talking about how oh I don't like this this is weird they're weird and all that and so vision hears them and this is where you meet them the visions right so you have Vivi or uh, Virginia Viv and Vin Okay. Now this is where I got lost a little bit because I thought it was Scarlet Witch and I'm just now reading this. But it's it's like a, a robot family made. They've copied the minds for the kids, they've copied minds of other people and stuff like that and, and they're they they act like androids. Okay, so you know like in the movies and stuff, visions you know, he's more life more like us i guess than a robot but they're very robotic so anyway they take the neighbors in for a tour of the house they have different items that are like a magical piano uh some magical vase uh lighter from uh, captain america and this right here was from scarlet witch okay which i thought was interesting anyway they're taking a tour of their neighbor's house. And they just, they don't fit in. Okay, they just don't. Um, it's not like another world created for them to live in. It's our world. Um, so anyway, the family leaves. And it's funny, it says here, um, Later, near the end of our story, one of the visions will set George's and Nora's house on fire. They will die in the flames. <laughs> it's funny. So anyway, they talk about how they're supposed to talk about people, kind of like they were nice people. No, they seem nice, and they're just having this kind of weird argument. He's trying to teach his wife, Virginia, how to like kind of assimilate and act properly, right? And then, of course, the kids, although they're the same kind of robotic they they're younger they're more youthful of course and they like to show off type of things in front of the neighbors kids and stuff and the neighbors like to take pictures and selfies with the visions because everyone knows who the vision is now he's got a job working for the president of the united states and they're not paying him <laughs> it's just funny uh so they talk about that and then uh the kids are constantly like absorbing all information they can on internet and tv kind of like daryl remember daryl the movie daryl with the kid that was a robot and he was like learning everything or i don't know anyway they the kids are going to go to their first day of school and this is like a super school okay like all the best of the best kids the smartest of smartest and they're going to the school right and uh they go fly to school, right? So the kids are like, what the hell's going on? 
it's their face, first day of school, and they're and they're explaining how they make them take different classes separate from each other to learn different things. And then one of the girls types a message, and she and she says, "Hey, hey, you!" And he says, "Yes, yes, me. I don't believe we are allowed to converse in class." She says, "Are you normal?" And he's like, "What's going on?" So as he's flying home with his sister, he's like, "Am I normal?" And she's like, "I think we're there to learn." And understand everything, you know, what what normal is. We're supposed to assimilate. Almost like the Borg from Star Trek are going to school, trying to fit in. So, Vision's having some weird dreams about his wife, right? And so, he basically says he's got to go do work, but he's going to go back to Avengers Headquarters and uh, to run some tests. Meanwhile... The family is having, like, I guess breakfast or dinner or something. Who knows? It's Saturday, right? <laughs> I don't even know if they eat. But um, one of one of the classes that that Viv is taking says something kind of negative about her report or something, and she like storms off, kind of in a way. And when she's walking off. A sword goes through her. Okay. And uh someone's there trying to kill her. And it's the it's the uh, Grim Reaper. Now I don't know if he'll play a part in the show, but he's in this. And basically, um he he's kinda of talking about how one of their identities or something was taken from his brother. He's there to kill them all, right? And he's really doing a good job, actually. And he's going to continue, but Virginia, the wife, smacks him over the head, right, with the pan or of some sort, and kills him. And then she's like, don't tell your father. So basically, in this book, you have the death of the Grim Reaper. You have... The first appearance of all the family. Virginia, Viv, and Vin, and this whole new world. It's a very interesting story, and I'm going to look for the rest of them, um, because I'm interested in reading it. It's just kind of like a funny look at our society <laughs> as a synthetic android or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this comp a quickie. A little book out of, ab out of the abnormal, but it is a key, and you guys stay sick. Oh,